To get the most out of habitat improvement, you need to understand the animals we're trying to improve the habitat for. Specifically, what we're going to talk about today are mature buck core areas. What is a mature buck's core area? Well, right off it, frankly, simply put the way I see it, you know, and people can define them however you want. But my definition of a mature buck core area is the areas that Mr. Big spends the majority of daylight hours in. So in other words, his bedding areas and the areas right around him. Um, his daylight bedding areas, not the beds that he makes in the middle of the night when he's chewing his cud. That's a different animal. Um, <clears throat> a mature buck only has one home range at a time. Okay, now that home range tends to average about 640 acres. And at the same time, it's not one of these nice little blocks like we think of. Picture a python that swallowed a medicine ball, a couple volleyballs, a baseball, some softballs, and writhing all over the place, freeze it. That's about as accurate of a description of a mature buck's home range as you're going to get. All over the place, some areas larger, some areas smaller, but no nice little neat square circular oval that we like to think of. Within that home range, a mature buck can have multiple daylight core areas. And over the course of season, they often shift. There's a lot of confusion in that in the shifting portion. Many people believe that whitetails are programmed to summer over here, winter over there, spring here and fall there. They're not programmed to do that. What they're doing is they are adjusting the areas that they spend time with to meet their needs for that period of time. If you're improving your habitat and you offer them everything they could want and need during all phases of season of the year in that one property, guess what? The majority of those mature bucks, they stay on that one property all year. Okay. Um, as I said, what they're doing is they're shifting their core areas to meet their needs at that time. So first thing in spring, when that alfalfa field is rocking, pretty good chance He's got a core area not far from that, okay? But now we get to winter. That alfalfa, it has frozen a bunch, it's sour. There's not a good food source around there, but two miles over that way is a standing cornfield that happens to be within his home range. He oftentimes will shift that core area over there. As I said, one home range, potentially, potentially, frankly, almost unlimited daylight core areas. Your daylight core area meets his needs for that time. Okay. <clears throat> Offer them everything they could want and need in that area for all phases of season. I'm not saying that that's the, the way to go, but I am saying if you do that, then all of a sudden your mature bucks tend not to shift core areas. Understand the core areas and you can manipulate, you can play little games like we just discussed. You can get them you can be sure to offer them everything they want right in that area during hunting season, for example, because hmm, that sure is a huge advantage to hunting when that buck is spending his daylight time on your property. Understanding core areas is important as it applies to getting the most out of our improvements. As we've said, a mature buck has one home range at any one time, but he can have multiple core areas within that home range. What are core areas? It's nothing more than where they bed during the daylight and the immediate adjacent area. Primo safety when it comes to bedding, often that is number one, always number one. A little extra added bonus points if there's a little bit of a water source and some browse that they can go ahead and get during the day as well. If you have the core areas on your ground, you can go ahead and be so much more effective at managing, but you can't force it. How do you figure out whether or not you can have them? You understand them. You understand them and then you look at your ground, you analyze, can I go ahead and produce what they want? If you can, you do. If you don't, you focus your efforts on areas that you can control. Take that approach, tend to get the most out of your improvements.